Hello, I'm Joe Vasquez, Service Specialist with Grunfuss. In this video, we will demonstrate the proper way to change the seal on the LCS and the LCSC and suction centrifugal pump. Before we begin, be sure you're familiar and that you follow the lockout and tagout procedures of your company. Also, be sure to wear any personal protective equipment that you may require. For today's training, we're using the Grunfuss LCSE pump complete with base plate and motor. Remember, the Grunfuss LCS and LCSE pumps do not require grouting or alignment. Once we have locked out power to the unit, it's time to shut the suction valve and the discharge valve. With the suction and discharge valve shut, we can now remove the plug at the lowest point of the pump in order to drain. Once the pump has drained, we are ready to begin the seal change process. The first step is to remove the coupling guards to gain access. Next, we will disconnect the recirculation line, which is standard on every LCS and LCSE pump. Now we're ready to remove the coupling. To remove the coupling, use a flathead screwdriver to separate the pieces. Next, we need to remove the key, washer, and bolt holding washer to the pump shaft. Now that we have access, we need to remove the four bolts holding the seal cap in place. Now that we have removed the seal cap, it is time to re remove the seal head. In order to do this, I will be using a screwdriver. Now that we have removed the seal head from the shaft, it's time to remove the O-ring as well as the seal seat from the seal cap. For that, I will be using a screwdriver as well. Remember to clean all sealing areas, including your O-ring groove, as well as your seal seat area and shaft. Now we're ready to install our new seal. First thing we install is the O-ring, which is part of your Grunfuss seal kit. With the O-ring installed, now we are ready to install the seal seat. Remember, try not to touch the sealing surfaces on the seal seat or the seal head. Try to keep those areas as clean as possible. Apply lubricant to the rubber bellow for an easier installation. Now it's time to install the seal head and hardware. The first piece that we install is going to be the spring and washer. Now we're ready to install the seal head 
with the carbon facing towards the motor. Remember to not touch the carbon. Once we have the seal head in place, it is time to install the seal cap. Be careful not to tap the ceramic on the shaft. Remember to tighten bolts to the required specification. At this point, we're ready to install the bolt, washer, and key. Now we're ready to install the coupling. In order to do this, we're going to have to use a pry bar, lift the shaft, and set our lift on the pump. Now we're ready to install the second half. The second half has the motor keyway and the pump keyway. Make sure to align them as close as possible for an easier install. We got it right the first time. Now we're ready to install the bolts. When installing the coupling bolts, Install them in a crisscross pattern. For final tightening, use the star shaped crisscross pattern. Once coupling is installed, make sure the pump turns free by hand. With the coupling in installation complete, we're ready to install the recirculation line. Before we prime the pump, we need to install the drain plug back in place. When we open the suction valve and begin to prime the pump, loosen the plug at the highest point of the pump. This will help relieve any air that may be trapped in the volute. At the same time, turn the coupling clockwise to relieve any trapped air in the impeller. Once all air is relieved, retighten the plug. Once pump is completely primed and all air has been evacuated, check pump one more time for leaks. If no leaks are detected, install coupling guards. Pump is now ready for operation. We hope you find this short video useful. Thank you.